It's happened yet again. Another country in Africa has plunged into unrest. This time it's Gabon. The country's military officers have announced that they have seized power and this unfolded on live television. This is the second coup in Africa this year and less than a month since Niger. The question is, what does this mean for Africa? What does this mean for Sahel's stability and Africa's democracy? Let's take a closer look. Let's start off with the latest. On Wednesday, a group of uniformed Gabonese soldiers appeared on national television. They announced the dissolution of all institutions of the Republic and the cancellation of the country's elections. But just have a look at the timing. It happened just minutes after President Ali Bongo was declared to have won a third term. The military leaders placed Bongo under house arrest and re arrested one of his sons for treason. What was the motive? Coup soldiers say they want to quote-unquote defend peace by putting an end to the current regime. They in fact denounced what they called Bongo's irresponsible, unpredictable governance. Adding that Bongo's 14 years in office resulted in quote-unquote deterioration in social cohesion. And soon after the address, journalists reported sounds of gunfire in Gabon's capital. It's unclear whether there were clashes. But we can confirm for you there were celebrations. And we have the visuals for you. Take a look. <laughs> The rebellion comes amid multiple coups and rising anti-French sentiment in France's former colonies. In late July, there was a coup in another French colony, Niger. It started with the members of Niger's presidential guard detaining the president, Mohamed Bazoum, inside his palace. And they also appeared on national television saying that they were seizing power. And the motive was the same ending, quote-unquote, the deteriorating security situation and bad governance. And days later, the junta declared the head of the presidential guard, Abdul Rahman Etiani, as the new head of state. And questions naturally followed, mostly about the security of the region. Niger has been a key ally of Western powers. The main West African bloc, ECOWAS, has been trying to negotiate with the coup leaders. ECOWAS claims they are ready to send troops into Niger. What for? To restore constitutional order if diplomacy fails. Now, Niger has authorized Mali and Burkina Faso's forces to intervene in case of an attack. Burkina Faso has seen a coup. In January 2022, Burkina Faso's army ousted the president, Roch Kabore. They blamed him for failing to contain violence by Islamist militants. The coup leader, Lieutenant Colonel Paul Henry de Mivia, pledged to restore security. But attacks worsened, eroding morale in the forces. That led to a second coup in September 2022. And at this point, the current junta leader, Captain Ibrahim Traore, seized power. And the story repeats itself in neighboring Mali. In 2020, military officers took control. In 2022, another officer overthrew his former friends. And then in Chad, the killing of the president, Idris Debi, in 2021, in clashes with rebels, also led to instability. In fact, it has seen clashes with forces linked to eastern Libya's Khalifa Haftar. And there was a coup in Guinea in 2021. Collectively, the past few years have witnessed a persistent trend of coups in Africa. And this ongoing pattern is in part a legacy of the instability following the independence from colonial rule. In 2021, five countries experienced military takeovers. And this troublesome trend continued into 2022 with five attempts, including two in Burkina Faso alone. Popular uprisings against dictatorial regimes have opened the door for the resurgence of coups across Africa. 
but the ultimate outcome of such uprisings can often often be shadowed by the actions of military leaders leading the coups and interestingly africa accounts for the lion's share of the coup instances around the world with 18 since 2017 with the exception of myanmar all of them occurred on african soil the question still remains is the continent seeing a new wave of democracy threats we are now available in your country download the app now get all the updates on the move